So right now, the one that you can see in the screen, it's natural resources. Yeah, it can be from a plant or from a food. Yep, so your task right now that you have to find natural resources from your home or from your environment to become the pigments for your paintings. Okay, anything that you can find in your house, in your, uh, like around you, maybe in your garden or in your uh, kitchen, yeah, you have to collect them and think about maybe this red pep, uh, paprika can be used for red or maybe the chili, but be careful with the chili because it can be spicy. Yeah, or and then you look for again, maybe a leaf. This is called, well, in Indonesia, it's called suji leaf. It's like a pandan, but it's not a pandan. Yeah, and then look at this one. I have, what is this? Do you know what is this? Coal or charcoal. Yes, charcoal. Well, it's not really for coloring right now, uh, Marsan. It's for uh, for cooking, for baking, you know, like for grill. Yeah, so it's not really for coloring. Yeah. And then do you know what is this? Garlic or ginger? No, sorry. Ginger, ginger. ginger. Yes, ginger. See that. It's a turmeric. Turmeric. Ginger. Tumeric. I said turmeric. Yeah, that's right, because it shows yellow. So I'm going to use yellow color for this turmeric. And orange will be a carrot. And maybe this one will be, let's see, I think a purple, right? So let's see how it works. I'm going to start doing this. I put that away first. Let's say, um, this one, we still will cut, so I need you to be careful with this, with the, with the, with the knife. You can ask your mom or adults to help you. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is already shows yellow, so I'm going to just put it on the paper here. I have a white paper. Okay, let's see. I don't want to get yellow colored. Let's see. I will do it like that one. Wow, look at that. It's yellow, right? And you can you can say it's a turmeric. So let's say you write it down turmeric. It's yellow. And then let's see uh, this charcoal. You can do like this if you like. You can crush them first or you can just draw it straight away. Use your finger. It's okay if it's dirty. You can wash them again. You can wash your hands and then do it here. Wow, look at that. What color is that? Black. 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 So I'm black. going to put black. Dark black. Gray. Black. Black. Yep, it's a black, black. black. So Charcoal, you can write it down. Yeah, and then let's see other else will be, I will try this leaf. See, I will do this, have a look. Uh, I will do with this one, so I will like crush them a little bit. Well, it's like a medicine or like a thing, yeah. Crush them a little bit. Oh, okay, as you can see, there is a green. Sometimes, and uh, if you can see leaves on your garden or your in your plants, they don't work well with the green. Yeah, because this one is a really green leaf. It's called a suji leaf. So we get that pigments for the green colors. Yep. Okay, let's see. Ooh, take a look on that. You can try with any kind of green color. Yeah. So you can write it down. Example again, suji leaf will be green okay good put it back on the place and then let's see this one what do we call this um sweet potato, sweet potato. yeah sweet potato maybe sweet let's see potato. let's see it's dry or it's working or not it's it's purple actually right but 
Let's see, maybe it's... Maybe you can dip it in water if it doesn't work. Yeah, maybe you can make it smaller. If it's not working, it's fine. You don't have to use them. Just give it a try. Yeah, maybe. Or you can just dip it in water before using it. Oh, that's too wet, I think. You can you can do this and crush it again and then put water, maybe. Yeah, like that one. Okay. But I think maybe it's worse, but not really showing really purple, you know, like a paint. Because again, paint, uh, it's chemical thing. Yeah, we can create purple out of that. Okay, and then let's like, see how it works. Oh, it works, but it's really light purple. Yeah, see like that one. It's okay. It's a natural thing, so it doesn't have to be a really a strong color. So. Again, I will write it down, sweet potato. Purple. Okay, let's see the last color that I will be using. I think I'm going to use this chili. Okay, be careful with the chili, okay? <laughs> let's see. Uh, you can ask the help from adults, okay? Okay, and then let's see. You can crush them with anything that you have from your house even a spoon or you know anything that you can use can you can use them it's like an it's like a science to you I'll not bother yeah. you sorry well it's more like an orange than red take a look it looks like an orange than red one so i'm going to do orange with the with the chili where chili can be orange but if you have other things okay let's say if you have anything that Miss Dia don't have it you can try it example I don't have blueberries so you can try blueberries I don't have maybe someone from India then uh, the materials is coming from India because you do migration in here so that's okay too if you want to try yeah, and maybe someone coming from China, you're yeah, like James, and you have things that Miss Tia or in Indonesia doesn't have. James is Korean. Oh, sorry, Korea. Sorry. Korean. I'm sorry. I'm Korean. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, James. Yeah, so for example, James coming from Korea, and uh, your family bring some uh, food or some like natural things that coming from Korea that in Indonesia there is not available or Miss Tia doesn't have it. So you can use them too. Have a look. Ooh, isn't it exciting? You will try some exploration about it. Okay, but don't be cheating. You have to use natural things, okay? Don't like, uh, for example, you try with watercolors and then you want to get this that colors. Nope, there's not natural things in here. Okay, you cannot use any paint that is made a human made or factory made okay so have a good have a little bit try okay i know this is really exciting even miss tia uh, make this one it's also exciting too yeah so i'm hoping you can learn from old days from pre prehistory yeah and then also you can learn from uh nowadays material or natural resources yeah miss tia oh, one more thing Sorry, one more thing that I'd like you to share. This one, I haven't shared to you this one. So, uh, this is the shape that looks like uh, from long time ago. So, this is called the hematite. I forgot to show you this one. This is the, it, this is like uh, for the red ochre. It, it made out of the stone or it can be like from uh, clay or soil. Yeah, that they fine in natural and then in nature i mean next one it's limonite for yellow this is like a mineral too it's like a stone can be too yeah so next one it's a limestone it can be from crushed shells minerals form and uh, calcium calcium mostly like a like a bones yeah so it's for white colors this one is for the brown manganese oxide hydroxide it's so hard to say that <laughs> yeah and then this one is pyrolusite for black 
it's uh, it's similar or it's all close to the charcoal. This is charcoal. It's from a um, wood that is fired and becomes for grill. It becomes black and they use them for paintings too. Look at those shapes. You don't really recognize what are these shapes, right? Yeah, even Missy never seen it in my life before. Okay, but look at those ability of the prehistoric people. Can you imagine long time ago there was no there was no computer computer, no Google, nothing, right? No paper, no maybe like uh, maybe the green and blue, they don't have it long time ago. Yeah. So again, uh, before we end the class, before we go to the question and answer part, I'd like you to make these things and then find a lot of colors from that, even pink. Yeah. Okay, Mr. will stop the recording first.